I'm Brad Doff. I'm Peter Stevens. We're, We're two students at Lakehead University with an idea to go green. Our campus is growing and facing the same problems as a city. Green infrastructure provides sustainable solutions. What's green infrastructure? Well, primarily we're talking about urban trees, which are living technology, providing ecological goods and services to people on uh, campus. Yeah, I know that, obviously. But did you know that ecological solutions work for us at a fraction of the cost it takes to engineer? Okay, well, let's plant trees everywhere. Not quite. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's use new technology to plant trees in the perfect places. What? Trees have potential to increase in value over time, but it depends on their placement. Oh, I get it. But it, like, explain it for someone who doesn't, like if they didn't. Well, we target the ecological goods and services that we want and use powerful geographical information systems to get results. So we've got new tools to plan green infrastructure with more precision. You got it. Our solution is smart greening, GIS decision supported planning. To maximize the benefits on campus. It's a three step process. Identify the sustainability challenges. Connect them to the benefits of an urban forest. Implement them using GIS. First, we spoke with our local experts. The Physical Plant and LUFA's Physical Environment Committee, who provide direction in managing the campus. There are a host of sustainability issues facing our little city. An increase in impervious surfaces. Heating and cooling inefficiencies. Aging infrastructure. Urban heat. Aesthetic value and healthy social space. Second, we can identify the benefits from the valuable research of urban forest scholars. Finally, we take existing spatial data, bundle it using GIS, to determine the most intelligent places on campus to green, optimizing EGP. Uh, you mean ecological goods and services. That's EGS. That's what I said. You said EGP. No, you did. Let's see how smart greening responds to two of Lakehead's biggest challenges. First up, stormwater. Impervious surfaces like this paved parking lot cause a high volume of rain runoff. It collects non-point source pollution like oil, gas, antifreeze, and pesticides, dumping it into the McIntyre with disastrous results. Cities often use enormous stormwater infrastructure to manage this problem. Well, why use expensive gray infrastructure when you can go green? Well-placed trees create a canopy cover, capturing rain and slowing runoff. And rain gardens remove pollutants, reducing peak discharge and even help recharge the ground supply, if they're intelligently planned. Problem two, managing the microclimate. Let's talk energy efficiency. Yeah. In the summer, cities are too hot. Buildings radiate heat, amplifying smog. In the winter, it gets cold in Thunder Bay, where northwest winds strip the heat from buildings. Climate control is costly. With smart greening, specifically along the Braun ATAC corridor, and next to the Ryan and Borlaskin buildings, we're talking serious savings. In the summer, trees cool the core, reducing the impact of the urban heat island, prolonging building lifespans. They filter smog and reduce carbon emissions. You said EGP earlier. In the winter, they create an insulating effect, reducing costs by up to 10%. As a bonus, a green campus contributes to healthy student life. Remember how sad this guy was? Look at that. Look at that now. The living technology that we plant for stormwater management and energy efficiency is always working for us, lowering maintenance costs, reducing emissions, and creating a more sustainable and healthy campus. Smart greening gives us the biggest bang for our buck, doing our homework and putting trees in the perfect places. Let's make this solution into a reality. Here's one of our many parking lots. A perfect place for smart greening. You said EGP. Don't move or you'll ruin the movie. You moved! <laughs> <laughs>